Toastmaster meeting today, Mike just asked me about the supernatural experience. <laughs> yeah. So uh, about this meeting, I'm really impressed because of the sense of humor of each role taker. Especially, I hear the laughter all constantly, all the time in the meeting, right? So language evaluator is a role that helps everyone to observe and find the grammar and also the pronunciation in your speaking. And here's some pros and cons that I've observed in this meeting that uh, the our Toastmaster meeting, he has a really good body language that decorate all the suits in front of the stage and also our variety session master and also table topic master interaction happening all the time. And also in prepared speech speaker, Jay said, a really good metaphor that his wife will show you the Chinese Kung Fu, right? <laughs> and Andrew said the about the procrastination that people doesn't raise their hand shows your procrastination. <laughs> That's a really good sense of humor. And there's a great use of the words and also the sentence that is AKA as known as everyone knows, right? And Jay said that doing in the United States do when in Rome and do what a Romans do. And usually the, the sentence is good use in when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Yeah, right? And also, Andrew said, break the habit, kill the trigger. That's a verb to describe doing something about the habit and the trigger. And there's a good usage of rhyme that is happier, healthier, community, and family. Emily used a lot of this rhyme in, his, in her speech. And also, may the Lord bless you, like the uh, sentence in the movie that is, may the odds be ever in with you. And evaluator always uh, giving some positive suggestion to the speaker that it's give them or give him a big applause. Maybe next time you can say, give him or her a round applause to his speech. And also uh, within the section movings, we will call in the road taker to the next person. We will say calling, we will say calling the name, but before the name, we don't use, we don't put the to the to the person, right? And also, he's a uh, he's a boy or she's a girl. That usage of the he and she also mix in any time. And we think up. That is in Chinese. We xiang dao. So uh, it's a better good use of think of is think of, think of. And couple year ago, we will say couple years ago. And. There's some uh, pronunciation that, especially in circles, slides that we are sometimes uh, confused. That is physics, physics. It's a word uh, combined with physics and also add ist in the last. So it's pronounced physics. Yeah. And also, uh, lastly, the word we have the word, but we don't pronounce it like drive. D r i v e. We pronounce drive America and also San Francisco. We will uh, 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 pronounce like this. And the title of Andrew's speech is procrastination. It's kind of hard to uh, pronounce it, but you can sing as procrastination. Just separate the word with P R O and procrastination. Think as of being a pro at procrastination. That will be easier to pronounce the word. And also, uh, the game in Circle Slide is KP. K KP he say, "亚斯伯格镇." So he shows a word that Asperger's syndrome, syndrome that calls uh, 亚斯伯格综合症. That is really quite not usage in your daily life, right? And at the end, I would like to say, uh, language evaluator is not only help you to pronounce and having greater observer at your grammar, and also. Uh, we will help you to uh, point out some pros and cons and happy usage next time. And 
Thank you. That's my evaluation. General evaluation.